Hey y'all, what's up? Today I'm going to be building my first ever mechanical keyboard. The first thing that I ordered was the i61 mechanical gaming keyboard by I Love B off of Amazon. Then I got 40 of the lavender purple echo switches. I got this roll of vinyl, which I'll get into a little bit later. These four keycaps from WASD Keys and this keycap set off of Amazon by the brand Korn. I'll leave links in the description to everything I used. All right, so let's open this baby up and see what we got. This keyboard is about the cheapest hot swappable mechanical keyboard you can get online at this point. And it had really good reviews, so I figured I'd give it a try. It has RGB. It came with their own red switches pre-installed. And it actually sounded pretty good right out of the box. It came with a pretty decent keycap puller, as well as this little white USB-C cable, which is actually pretty decent quality. Here I go pulling keycaps for my first time. It took me a little while to get the technique, but once I did, it didn't take me long at all to get the rest of the keycaps off. It's okay, you can laugh at my struggles. Once I started to get the hang of it, I actually had a lot of fun doing this. Oh, and just a little side note, all the songs and music used in this video were created and are owned by me, so please don't mute my video. Ah, the final keycap. I feel like I'm really getting the hang of this now. I'm just gonna put these aside for right now. And now, switch pulling time. It took me even longer to get the technique down of doing this. I didn't realize that you had to kind of squeeze on the little tabs to pull them out. So I struggled for a little bit. Again, just feel free to laugh at my struggles. Somewhere along this process, I just got really into pulling out the switches and I kind of forgot that I only ordered 40 of the ACO switches. So for your entertainment, watch me pull a bunch of these out just to put them right back in. And I'm done. Now to open up this box of brand new lavender purple switches from Echo. Ooh, look how pretty. I'm not gonna be lubing these switches because they actually come pre-lubed out of the box. When you order these, you actually have an option of pre-lubed or unlubed, and I chose pre-lubed since I have no idea how to lube switches. I was a little bit reluctant to just start popping these switches in. It seemed really easy to me, and that made me feel like I was doing it wrong, but apparently I was doing it right. And I think I got them all in without bending any of the pins. So again, I only ordered 40 of these lavender purple switches. And for the remaining 21 switches, I planned on using the red ones that came with the keyboard. I wasn't exactly sure what the layout was going to be, so I had to figure that out as I went along. My idea was to use the lavender purple switches for my most used keys, especially the letter keys, and to use the red ones for the number keys and the keys that I don't use very often. I guess I didn't think that much into it, but at the time it seemed like a good idea. In the future, I'll probably just order all the switches that I need to keep all the switches on the keyboard the same, because having two different types of switches is kind of an awkward feel. At some point in putting in these purple switches, I stopped popping them in so I could figure out the best layout first.
Commence popping now. Next, I start popping in the red switches. Although, I realized I had placed some of the purple ones in the wrong spot, and there was a lot of trial and error. So here's the finished product. Looking pretty good for my first build, I must say so myself. Setting up all these keycaps just like this took me forever. Honestly, way too much time, and it's kind of embarrassing, so I just skipped that part. But putting the keycaps on was a lot easier than I thought. Just pop them on. That's it. The feeling of doing this is actually really satisfying. Kind of addictive, if you ask me. I had a lot of fun putting these caps on. For my keycaps, I mainly just used the corn set that I got off of Amazon, but I also used a couple of the gray keycaps that came with the keyboard, and I got my WASD keys from WASDKeyboards.com. I pretty much had to custom order those WASD keys, but the website is really easy to use, and I'm really happy with them. Here's my finished keyboard. I'm so happy with it. There's just one more thing I need to do. Remember that roll of holographic vinyl I showed you earlier? Well, I didn't really like the logo of the keyboard being right on the front. I didn't really like the white color either, so I decided to wrap it in vinyl. It took me a pretty long time to get the cuts right, but once I did, I was really happy with how it came out. You ready to see it done? Yeah, it's not completely perfect, but I think I did a pretty good job overall, and I'm really happy with it. Let's see what that RGB looks like. Oh yes. Now, let's see what it looks like with the lights off. Honestly, I could not be happier with how this looks. And now, for the typing test. So yeah, I'm not sure what your opinion is, but this keyboard sounds really good to me. I think my first build came out absolutely great and I could not be happier with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. See you soon.